is that yard sale? Produce. Produce, baby. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff. This dude's dedicated. I mean, it's a rainy day. He's out here selling. Morning. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm good. Great. Good. Great to see y'all. You have a gorgeous little display here. This looks so pretty. All grown here locally. So this is your traveling it's, sales station? Uh, well, I set up here a couple times a week. Kind of make do with what you got, you know. Is there like a farmer's market that y'all no, sell no. at? We don't have a local farmer's market. We're out riding around. We met a farmer on the side of the road. He said there's nowhere in town to sell their produce. Yeah, and we know that there is land that is wide open and available with the most beautiful view in Wetumpka. One of the first times we came here, we pulled up into it. Yeah. It's city property that's not being used for anything. With the best view. Back home in Laurel, we've always just had kind of a pop-up party in a new location every summer, depending on how big the crowds were. Yeah. We just have never had that piece of land. And to have a permanent structure, I just feel like. Be good for the community. We need a pole barn. Like a pavilion. We'll be in touch. We look forward to it. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. This project is a lot bigger than a house. A lot bigger. It's new construction. We're breaking ground. I mean, go big or go home, all right? A farmer's market is what this town needs. I think the community will really get behind it. And it's one more reason for people who are coming from out of town to come stop and visit and stay a while and spend time and money in Wetumpka. Good morning. What are you doing? So Ben and Aaron have invited me, Troy, who is our county commissioner, and Cheryl, who's our city council person, across the river this morning. And we are not really sure why. It feels like a big swath of sadness right now <laughs> right. because of the tornado. Right. And we need to reverse that. We think you guys need a farmer's market right here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Does the uh, city council support this? Well, I can't speak for the whole city council, <laughs> but district two, yes. Yes, there you go. Oh yes, I'm on board. We've never had anything like this. The farmer's market can be a place where we just all come together and be just one big happy family. Let's build something that makes people happy. Yeah, right. that everybody can enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. By putting something beautiful here, like a farmer's market, you're fixing the last spot of Wetumpka that needs it. Wetumpka is rich with people that create things. Quilts and wood carvings and paintings, this is gonna give us the opportunity to have our farmer's market really be a snapshot of everything that we create in our community. I think it'll be really cool. Yeah, I can't great. wait. Can't wait to see it. All right, well, it's happening for real now because we've got big, loud trucks and tractors. Let's do Let's that. Let's happen. I think this is awesome. Like, we never get to build from scratch. We're always taking what somebody else did and fixing it. We got weed eaters running. We got clippers going. Kenny even came. I know. Who needs heavy equipment? Right, when you've got manual labor. It's a busy day out here at the Future Farmer Market. We can't wait to get going. This is the walkway into the beautiful, massive new farmer's market. Yay! All right. OK, so we're going to have a huge concrete slab that's 24 by 60 feet. Big. And then it's like a pole barn, but beautiful. We want to have stained trusses and then a painted tongue and groove ceiling. Oh, wow. Okay. We're going to build a community garden. Right. So have some raised beds raised over beds here. Raised beds that kids can learn how to plant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Picnic tables and maybe some outdoor games. OK. Yeah. And then we want an area here that's got swings and a fire pit. Wow. Awesome. There is only one big eyesore that is affecting my farmer's market vision. I cannot handle the back wall of Coach's Corner looking so sad. OK. Paul and Heather from Coach's Corner gave us the go ahead. So we're going to cut back all of the ivy that's growing on the back of the building to paint a new mural that says oh, wow. blooming on the Coosa. What? Things bloom in a farmer's market. Yeah. And that's the view that you oh, have. Oh, gosh. It's great. Can't wait. Hold me. Hold me. This tree is dead. It clearly did not survive the tornado, so we need to clear out what's no longer thriving so we can make room for what is. The tree is already naturally leaning towards the river. So the theory is 
cut it down low on the land side and it'll fall towards the river. Pretty crack. Job, now, doesn't it look better? A lot better. Yeah? Now you get a clear view. I'm gonna go sit down. <laughs> get ready, Wetumpka. I'm here. Let's make this happen. Let's go make some noise. Ty Pennington is a household name. He's used to doing big projects where he comes in and pulls off something incredible. It's gonna be awesome. I wasn't sure what I was gonna see when I came to Watomka, which is interesting because I grew up in Georgia. There are so many charming small towns in America, and I think sometimes we don't even know they exist. We drive past them on the big interstates and you never know to get off and go down a main street. And I think this town of Watomka is really a rallying call to save the charm and the beauty of small towns in America. And so if this lights a spark, if this is the movement, I'm all in. What's going on, Ty? How are you this morning? I'm guessing you're Rusty. How are you, man? I am. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Why don't you walk me through what you guys have got done so far? Okay. So I can see we got two posts in. We're building this hexagon shape. So Ben's building the, the swings. That's uh, right. I think he's building three swings. A hexagon six-sided, which I, I really like. So swing here, swing there. But see, if, we're, if we've got the same shape on the other side, it feels like we need Swing, swing, maybe. So I think instead of three swings, we should go with four, right? I think so. Which is not what he needed to hear right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ty. Thanks, Ty. Makes sense. It'll look better that way. Everybody gets a good view. You can actually hang out together. Be cool. Ty, let's dig some holes. All right. If we were going to set one post, we may do it by hand. But since we've got to do six, we're definitely going to use the auger. I think I see oil. Let's face it, no pole barn is complete without a cupola. And this is a beauty. And now it's up to us to get on top and get it installed. So, Rusty crew, you guys ready? We're ready. We're ready. You ready? I, I feel ready. I feel like we're, we're, we're going on a launch. Here's the thing about a cupola. It's decorative. So you're up. But, especially for an historic town, we want to make sure that it's got architectural details that say, hey, this is the farmer's market building. And a cupola really says that. This is the final piece of the puzzle. The cherry on top. Okay, I think we can slide across now. Turn your wheel. Hard, hard. You're making me nervous. Easy, whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep, sit yep. down. That's perfect. Perfect. Yes! Love it. Right on the money. I mean, let's face it, this is just a decorative detail, but it really is gonna add that finishing touch to make it look pretty darn amazing. Build it, and they will come. We are ready to open the farmer's market. So today is the two year anniversary of when the tornado wiped this out. And now this is a spot where people from here can come, get food, hang out, have a good time, be a community while they're overlooking their town. We did a whole lot with a little time. I'm really proud of us. Let's see if Cheryl, Shelly, and Troy are proud of I us. I think they will. Look at that farmer's market. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Look at all this oh. stuff. Isn't this incredible? Oh my. I can't think of a better view I love than what it. I'm seeing right here. I love it. This is awesome. I mean, this is just off the hook. You built it from the ground up. 
I love the color, the green. I want colors to feel lived in. And I felt like for this structure, for it to feel the most natural woodsy colors possible felt right. We have these really pretty brackets that are a little bit more elevated. Look at this swing. The swing. I love that thing. Coming to see the new farmer's market. Should we cut this thing? <laughs> Y'all come see your farmer's market. The farmer's market's open. Do you make these too? That's amazing. Having a venue here, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot that uh, I know my kids will have a venue here for years to come. We can continue our farming generation. Really, it took Ben and Aaron to come and, and kind of light a fire, and now we've got to take the torch and move forward. <laughs>